For whatever reason, I thought that curve cuts were going to work for the edge banding of the store sign, but I was wrong. <laughs> Pretty wrong. And I learned a few lessons along the way. Uh, this is Caleb with Second Sun Woodworks, and I appreciate you watching this video. Hope you'll stick around. Kerf cuts do indeed work, and my crazy thumbnail may have worked to get you to click on this video. Uh, but don't get me wrong, I do believe kerf cuts are an effective method for bending wood. One that I've used myself just a couple times. Since the sign was made out of plywood, the edges of the plywood needed to be sealed, and sealed well since they would be exposed to quite a bit of weather up in Montana. And so I had the idea of doing kerf cuts where the edge banding would bend the most. As you can see here, I used my circular saw to do the kerf cuts on one face of the edge banding. Now, this didn't work. <laughs> as you can see. The worst part was that I only had a limited number of these pieces of walnut that I had cut down uh, at my parents' house a few days before uh, using my dad's table saw. I didn't have access to a table saw up at the store, so I had to use the circular saw. Now, in a perfect world, I would have had easier access to the table saw at my parents' house uh, and or I would have had unlimited supply of walnut wood that I could chop up into more edge banding. Uh, and in a perfect world, I may have had unlimited supply of time. I don't have a lot of time. That'd be great, right? But I didn't. So after attempting the kerf cuts a number of times, I had to figure out a different way to do the edge banding. I've seen a number of videos on YouTube where <laughs> this worked, but uh, they had different tools and they did a bit of a different process. And I know that uh, I could have done things different, but the way that I did didn't work. And Every time I would crack another piece of that walnut wood, I was getting more nervous <laughs> about my supply of walnut and uh, the time available to me, and I needed to figure out another way of doing the edge banding. Once again, in a perfect world, I wish I had the ability to steam the wood or heat the wood up uh, with some sort of moisture to help it bend, but I didn't have that. I was on the road and you can't bring your entire workshop on the road. But because I am a uh, person who perseveres through problems such as this, I decided to give it just one more try uh, on one more small piece, uh, scrap piece of walnut wood. And really, I shouldn't have tried this with this small piece of wood. It was probably too small and or <laughs> dangerous to be cutting with my circular saw. Uh, but when I went to bend the wood, it wouldn't even budge. And I broke the piece kind of in frustration and wanted to uh, shout out to the, to the sky uh, because my idea wasn't going to work. But luckily, I wasn't alone. Cam. Hey. Are these the embellishments? No, this is the edge banding. Do you need any coffee? I got coffee, pound cake, cinnamon, caramel. And just like that, I was much happier. Thanks, Kate. You really cheered me up and helped me move on to figure out a different way to do this edge banding. But I hope you learned a few tips on how to do curve cut. Get yourself a table saw, heat your wood up, have extra scrap woods if available, and uh, learn how to use your tape measure. <laughs> correctly. 
And remember, if one technique doesn't work, you can find another one. Anyways, check out all of the other videos regarding this sign build. I have a playlist specifically for this one. And uh, I hope you'll uh, watch the next one that I put out soon. I'll be doing the edge banding without the curve cuts. Because they didn't work. But they can work. And that's what's important. Build something cool. See you next time.